We're in the second week of Advent. It's Wednesday, December 13th, and we're going to hear from Matthew's Gospel. My yoke is easy, my burden light. I was with my cousin on a job, on a roof job. My uncle was running the job, and he was on the roof, and he says, all right, get those shingles up here. So I put a heavy 80-pound bundle of shingles on my shoulder and climbed up the ladder, and my cousin was just behind me. But just before he picked up a bundle of shingles, a young, pretty college girl went up to him and says, where's Campion Center? So my cousin was trying to give her directions, and of course she didn't know, she couldn't figure it out. So my cousin said, I'll just, I'll just walk over with you and, and point it out to you. So five bundles of shingles up on the roof later, my cousin shows up to pick up his first bundle of shingles. And just as he bends down to get the shingles, my uncle cries out, all right, somebody, one of you guys go get the coffee. So of course my, my, uh, my, my generous, good-hearted cousin says, oh, okay, I'll, I'll guess I'll get it. So 12 bundles of shingles up on the roof later, my cousin comes back with the coffee and he hasn't even brought up one bundle of shingle yet. So the moral of the story is this, you do not want my cousin to be a working partner because you'll end up doing all the work. And that's why in the ancient world they used to have, uh, they used to have yokes. A yoke was to keep the oxen working together so that one oxen wasn't doing all the work and the other oxen was under a, under a shady tree drinking coffee and reading the newspaper. <laughs> it's share the load, 50-50. <laughs> Now when Jesus in, in the Gospel of Matthew says that I, my yoke is easy, my burden is light, he doesn't describe the yoke as 50-50. He describes it as easy and my burden is light. So what does that mean exactly, that my, my yoke is easy, my burden is light? It's when you, it means that your working partner is God. <laughs> that, that's a huge advantage when you have to do anything. So remember Peter, so Peter was supposed to pay the temple tax, both Jesus and himself. Now, how do you pay a temple tax? Well, you've got to get a job. Well, one possible job is you can go to uh, Egypt and help build one of those new pyramids and you know, lug bricks up to the top of the pyramid to help them build it. But that's, that's work, but that's hard. When, when you, Jesus is your partner, it's easy. So what he does is he goes fishing and he looks into the first fish he catches is a coin inside there. And now who does that? Who gets money by going, you know, taking a day off and going fishing and pulling money out of the fish's mouth? People who have partnered with, with, with God. And so the idea here is, and what Matthew is saying through Jesus, is that, that uh, Jesus is a, a working partner, and sometimes life can get hard, sometimes life can be difficult, and we, we feel like we're shouldering all the, all the labor and the burden of life, but we do have, remember that we have a partner, we have somebody that is with us, uh, and it's not just somebody, it, it's, it's God who can do anything to do the impossible. So always remember that, always, uh, always remember that we have a yoke, par a yoke mate, a partner that, that wants to make our life easy and our burdens light.